My favorite new gadget that I'm using and loving in the cockpit is this Apple Pencil paired with ForeFlight on my iPad. Now I'm using the Apple Pencil 2, which as of this filming, they have a discount going on Amazon down from 129, but there's a link down in the description where you can go check the most current price. And I'm using it in replacement of a traditional pen and paper kneeboard for copying down weather info as well as flight plans and clearances. So here are some honest pros and cons now that I've been using it for a few dozen hours in the plane. The first pro is the ease of use and cockpit flow. Now this might sound like a small thing, kind of a diva thing, but being able to just reach over and start writing, instead of pulling out the kneeboard, you store in between your seats and pull the pin out, start writing, that difference is small, but it's really nice. And it just further consolidates the number of tools I'm actively using in the cockpit. And I really like the way that feels. And as soon as you're done, I was gonna say typing. <laughs> as soon as you're done writing, you just snap it back on and you're done. You don't have to put your kneeboard back up or anything like that. The other really nice thing about having your weather and clearances written on your iPad is during night flight because it is just way, way easier to see than pulling out your kneeboard. In fact, the other night I flew back from rural, rural, I hate having to say that word particularly on camera, rural, <laughs> southern Oklahoma to Dallas, which no offense to southern Oklahoma, but there's already not much there anyways. Try flying it at night. And it stuck out to me. I knew I was about to make this video and I was using it at night. And I don't fly at night that much. And I thought, man, this is so much more helpful. My iPad's down here if I'm looking at it. This is so helpful to have this written on the screen because it's so much easier to see than pulling out your kneeboard and having to turn on the cockpit light above me. It's up here. Uh, and, and see what you wrote, turn on the lights, turn the lights back off, that kind of thing. It's a small thing, but it really adds up. Another handy trick is for annotating ForeFlight as you're going along. And this could be for staying X miles away from the thunderstorms. You can just draw it right on the map there or put a really obvious top of descent line on your flight path, or there's a lot of other uses too. And you can still do this with your finger instead of the pencil if you want, but the nice thing about using the pencil is that it automatically knows you're drawing in ForeFlight, so there's no extra buttons to push or anything. Whereas if you're using your finger, you have to select uh, the draw function and then deselect it when you're done makes it a little clunkier if you're using the pencil It's all right there. It's pretty intuitive and this drawing feature can also be helpful in pre-flight planning Particularly in training. It's basically a whiteboard so you can use it for drawing You can use multiple colors for various uses which can actually come in handy in the cockpit too Like if you're copying down the weather you might put the winds in another color So they're really easy to go back and reference just those little things just make your cockpit experience a little bit more efficient Or you might leave your departing weather in one color color and then do your arrival weather in another color or come up with some other helpful coloring systems for your info. There are a lot of possibilities here. Another pro is that you don't run out of ink, you don't run out of paper. It's a small thing, but that is the worst when you're writing a clearance and your pen starts dying or you're having to squeeze it into the very bottom of the page because you wrote too big on the other rest of the page. It's little things. I really like having it on the iPad. Now, there are some downsides worth mentioning. First, if you forget to charge your iPad, your pencil won't do you any good. And that's why I still keep a paper backup. That being said though, as long as your iPad is charged, your pencil probably will be too. Uh, I didn't know until I bought it that since it magnetizes to the side, that's actually how it charges as well. And so I thought it was gonna be like, man, that's yet another thing you have to keep charged. I don't know if anyone else is frustrated with that. It feels, feels like you have to keep like 80 things charged in your life. I thought I don't want number 81. But it turns out since I just store it on the side of the iPad anyways, as long as my iPad is charged, my pencil is charged too. The second big downside is that if you drop the pencil in flight, it might be hard to retrieve. Now you run that same risk with pen and paper, but in that instance, it's easy to just grab another pen instead of the one that's now on the floor. For me, I sit so close to the controls. If I dropped this on the floor, I'd have to move the seat back in order to get it, which sometimes might not be practical depending on what phase of flight that happens in. And in that case, you can just use your finger on the iPad screen, which works in a bind. So I'm usually pretty careful anytime I'm reattaching the pen back to the iPad because this would be a really easy time to fumble it. Um, I mean, just like that. It actually magnetizes pretty well. And the thing I really like about this case is that it leaves uh, this section open. This is specifically built for aviation. I'll talk about it in a minute, but they leave the side uh, of that open in case you want to use the pencil. The other thing I find myself wanting in the pencil is the ability to just turn it around in order to erase just like a normal pencil. In for flight, you, you can only use the tip of the pen and you have to go click the erase function and then erase and then unclick the erase button and go back to writing. That would make it a little better if you could just turn around, flip it, erase and keep going. Doesn't currently do that. And another downside is simply the cost. Yeah, pen and paper is a lot cheaper, but it's not that expensive to buy one of these things and I noticeably appreciate it whenever I use it. So 
that combination of not costing very much and I noticeably appreciate it, it's a no brainer for me. And again, there seems to be a discount going on right now on Amazon and so the link is down in the description. Now the iPad pencil is helpful, but the most helpful accessory I've ever bought for the airplane is this iPad case and its mounting system that are both specifically built for aviation. So if you're looking for a better iPad case, I promise you this one is awesome. I use it and I love it. And in the video on the screen, I'm gonna tell you all about it. So I'll see you over there. <laughs> that was so dumb. Like who would like throw, who would throw, okay, don't do that. Don't throw the pencil at the iPad. I'm just, the point is, I'm careful to stick it back on correctly like a normal human being.